Good morning, my honeys. Welcome back to another day in the life of vlog. I'm actually really excited today because we are gonna be going to the Zilker Botanical Garden. They have a little Japanese garden section. It's something to do downtown Austin. Back in the early days on YouTube before, like I never even filmed any of them. Like I loved doing botanical gardens. So this kind of feels like, like me from 10 years ago would have just been obsessed with. And I just kind of stopped doing it. So I'm really excited today. But anyway, I need to get ready. So I'm just gonna do my morning skincare routine with you guys today. I'm really swollen in the face this morning. So I'm gonna be using my Glow V-Line Facial Roller to help like flush all this like fluid retention that's like collecting here. I love this because it's really great at de-swelling the face and doing lymphatic drainage. And it just feels like, like, it makes your face feel so much better. Like if you wake up with a swollen face like I do, like I'm a side sleeper and sometimes I sleep really heavily on my face, which I know is so bad for anti-aging, but like I can't help it. Like I will try to sleep on my back and I'll just wake up like totally face smashed into my pillow. So, Having something like this in my routine really helps to just like get rid of the negative effects of being a side sleeper. Look at this side already looks like so much more lifted compared to this side. It's like such contrast. This is what it looks like. It, it gives like a pinching effect to the skin while you roll. So it kind of stimulates blood flow. It tightens the skin. It lifts the skin and then helps flush out toxins. I just did a really quick roll today because I don't have too much time. But already like I feel like my face just feels less puffy around this area. It feels a lot better. I'm not going to be using cleanser on my face today because my face has been a little on the dry side lately. So I'm going to be taking my absolute favorite essence. This is the I'm from Mugwort Essence. It is 100% mugwort extract and mugwort is like a super calming, soothing plant. And it's just, this is just that. Nothing else, just 100% mugwort. Feels so good. I'm actually having a 15% off brand sale for the entire I'm From skincare line. So definitely check it out if you're interested in the I'm From skincare line. It is a brand that focuses on natural ingredients from South Korea, so like sourced from and grown in South Korea. And it's kind of like a bit of a luxury brand, like a mid-luxury brand. I really love them. I've always loved the I'm From line. I'm just gonna be using the I'm From Rice Serum. This is good for oil control and anti-aging. It's loaded with like rice extract, which is good for oil control. It's good for anti-aging. And it has a lot of niacinamide in there, which is also good for the exact same things. So anti-aging, brightening the skin, oil control, pore control. It's a really good serum for the summertime or if you are someone that's concerned about oil but also wants all the benefits of anti-aging. I'm gonna be going in with my favorite calming cream. This is the Nacific Fresh Sika Plus Clear Cream. It is an extremely calming and soothing cream for the skin and it's kind of in this like gelish formula but it's still a little bit moisturizing but it's mainly hydrating, calming, soothing and repairing and it helps control redness as well. I love it. It's really good if you have like a sensitive, dehydrated skin type. Even like those that are acne prone because all those calming and cooling ingredients are gonna help reduce inflammation and acne. And then for my SPF today, I'm gonna be using my favorite. I love this stuff. This is my second tube of it. It is the Nacific Fresh Herb Origin SPF 50 PA++++. Really good SPF for all skin types, but it is especially suitable for those that have like an acne prone skin type because it has a ton of natural herbal ingredients incorporated in there that are really good for calming and soothing the skin and are actually antibacterial. And it's like this light kind of, I wanna say whipped formula, but like not, like even when I put it on the skin, it just feels like this big like wave of hydration on the skin, but it's also moisturizing. So it helps protect that moisture barrier to keep your skin super healthy, plump, and also protect it from acne bacteria. And it just like melts into the skin so seamlessly, like you can't even tell, like there's no white cast at all. I love this stuff so much. For my body, I usually use a different SPF, like just a whatever body one from like a drugstore. I don't really care too much. 
But yeah, if you guys end up going on glowatelier.com, you might notice like there are some oddities to the website. Like a lot of stuff has been out of stock for a while. Um, reason being is because we are making some huge changes to Glow Atelier. And one of those things is that I am gonna be launching my own Glow Atelier skincare line. And that's actually been in the works for several months now, basically since the beginning of summer. Um, actually no, probably since like mid spring, I've been like working on this and it's, it's coming really soon. Like I'm just waiting for things to arrive and I'm starting to like develop content for the website and stuff. So there are some big changes coming to Glow Atelier. So a lot of brands we're going to be trying to kind of sell out of and clear out and then make room for Glow Atelier's own skincare line. And if that ends up going how we anticipate it to go, then we might continue housing other brands and even expand and have like more Korean skincare brands. But right now, we want to try pivoting and just like make Glow Atelier its own thing instead of like just kind of other brands, you know? So we are sold out on a lot of B products, for example, and some of the Nacific items are starting to sell out. But don't worry, we still have a lot of stock of other things. But just in case you guys notice, like you keep coming back to the website and being like, why isn't this back in stock yet? When is it gonna be back in stock? I've had some of you guys even asking me that. Reason being is because we are making room to turn Glow Atelier into the Glow Atelier brand. And then if we decide to later on, we will continue selling other brands. But yeah, all of I'm From, the entire I'm From skincare line is on sale right now and it will probably be on sale for a while and then down the road we are going to be launching some like um semi-annual sales and stuff so do stay tuned to all of that i don't know when those are going to happen because life is hitting me hard lately oh my gosh you guys like so much has happened recently it's insane i can't wait to update you guys on it and even so like in a few days i have to go back to canada for like almost a whole month so it's been really really busy but yeah today we are going to the zilker botanical garden i'm gonna do my makeup put some clothes on and catch you guys on the way to the botanical garden for a cute little date it is so hot today it's 40 degrees outside and sunny such as texas crazy hot i think that's like 100 i think it's over 100 degrees fahrenheit but yeah it's crazy hot anyway let's head out Anna Luisa jewelry today. I love this necklace. It's like a crab astrology sign. And then I got my opal earrings in. Also came to a realization. I never showed you guys the finished table because I was so sick and out of it. But this is the finished product. I put a clear gloss varnish on top. I only did two coats because I didn't feel like it really needed three coats. But realistically, it probably does because it is a little rough around the edges. But like I don't really care and then the base is just painted and then varnished lightly as well and then I didn't show this because I don't know what I was doing I put this 36 inch like what do you even call this paper lantern lampshade over top of like the very vintage retro like candle type you can kind of see the shadow through it it's like a really like candle chandelier but of course it doesn't naturally fit over it so what i did is i actually this side looks so stupid but it's okay because no one really sees it from this side but like i cut it open all the wires and then kind of like peeled it open and then stuck it around the lantern and it worked pretty well for like a makeshift uh rental friendly cover-up for a lamp that I didn't really like. And I think it looks so good here. I want a medium of that, just iced coffee with just milk. Okay, and also the same thing, but just medium as well. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. We have arrived at the Zilker Botanical Garden to enjoy the gardens 
and potentially have a picnic. We're wearing our neck fans because it's hot, a good old 40 degrees and sunny. We are currently in the Japanese garden right now. I'm really excited because they have a koi pond here, which we're coming up to right now. And they're all like feeding. Oh, it's so pretty. They get pretty big, don't they? They get really big and they live long too. Many koi. I, I love these little like rivers through the whole place. It's so pretty. I really, really love water features. They're probably my favorite. <laughs> so pretty here. Oh, the little water coming out. A little spout. Don't fall now. <laughs> We're like the probably the only people in the worst possible footwear here. <laughs> Slides and platforms. <laughs> wow, what a nice shady tree. Yeah, wow. about it? No. Where they insert bamboo in your butthole and then they just wait and it would it would grow and it would grow inside of you. That's no. Yeah, that's how some people Jeez. would be tortured back in the day. Yeah, I was trying to film a very pleasant aesthetic walking through the bamboo scene and all you start talking about is bamboo butthole torture. Yeah, but, but I'll, I will leave it in the vlog because it's an interesting fact no, no, if no, it's to be, true. To be fair, it doesn't have to be through the butthole. It can be really oh. any, any, oh. any like this, so like, it's being politically correct here. <laughs> so the Zilker Botanical Gardens Japanese section is apparently to commemorate the friendship between Austin and Oita City. Pretty cool. They have complimentary water cool. Oh no, is it all out of water? Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> You'll be okay. There was more, I saw other ones, I think. Oh, there's one way down there at the other end. <laughs> way out at the very farthest end of the okay, yard. Yeah. But there's shade the whole way. So this is the rose section, but it's so hot, they, they're not really thriving at all, are they? All right, <laughs> this one, let's test it out. <laughs> you know, oh, wait, I remember that we have a water bottle in my bag. Are you thirsty? It's in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. But I told you too it was in there. Yeah. So there you go. Wow. Well, cool. Good thing I brought that. Yeah, they call it the prehistoric garden, this one we're in now. And I'm assuming that means that a lot of the plants here date back to prehistoric age. Japanese yew. Yeah, it's a pretty tree. Yeah. Like I love these kind of like giant, what are these trees called? See this one right, the giant one in the middle. No, this isn't a Japanese yew, but um, like it looks prehistoric, you know? They even added like a raptor statue in the middle. How cute. Honey boy is not making it. <laughs> I 
So usually by now I would be extremely, yeah, there's a big wasp over there. <laughs> usually by now I'd be like, like my whole neck would be soaked. But it's like, it's like, it's like damp, but it's not like soaked. I have it on level three right now. Oh yeah. brought our dollar store tablecloth picnic blanket, which is the cutest, cheapest picnic blanket ever. We went to Snow Village Cafe, kind of outside of, like north outside of downtown Austin, which we've been to once before, and we got like onigiri, and we got some taiyaki, and we already ate one ahead of you guys, but we saved a bunch to have a little picnic here. We got spicy salmon, grilled salmon, and this is a shiitake mushroom with egg, which I'm excited for. And then we got a red bean taiyaki. I want to oh. try the mushroom one. Died. What died? My neck. Oh. Mm. Mm. Taiyaki. Mmm, I love taiyaki. Oh, hard boiled egg inside of it. I thought it was gonna be like scrambled egg. Oh, what? Somebody's doing a, it looks like a bridal photo shoot here. We just got back from the botanical garden. I'm gonna go for a soak in our blow up pool. In case anybody is wondering, this bathing suit is from White Fox Boutique and I got it like literally years ago. Nice. No. 